dear all welcome to the class on type of instruction in this particular lecture we will try to understand what is a instruction and what are the different type of instruction so let us at the very first go through the contents what we are going to cover in this particular lecture so first we will try to understand the introduction to instruction then the type of computer instruction then basic computer instruction formats and finally list which is showing the basic computer instruction so let us start with the very fundamental definition of the instruction so dear friends i hope up to this moment you all must be aware ke what is the instruction if in a nutshell i say what is the instruction or what is an computer instruction then computer instruction is basically made up of two very important components one is your op code which is called the operation code and another is your operands which is the data on which op code is going to be performed inside that instruction so in nutshell if i can say that instruction is made up of the two part op code what to do what operation you have to perform and the operands on which data you want to perform that operation so you can go through the definition also that an instruction includes an op code specifying the operations to be performed such as the add the content subtract the content multiply or logical and or the complement means these all are the op codes operation code and operands operand it may be zero means there is no operand or it may have the more than one or more than one operands so which may specify the register content or the memory location or it may be a data literal data somewhere from the input devices so now moving further type of computer instruction if we categorize the type of computer instruction then first it is the arithmetic logic and shift instruction so in the previous lecture as we saw that arithmetic logic unit that is responsible for the arithmetic and logic operation and also for the shift operation so we can say that first instruction type is arithmetic logic and shift operation shift instruction which includes the arithmetic logic and shift operation the second type of the instruction is the movement instruction means when you are uh, trying to move the content within the system means when you are moving the content from register to memory memory to register or from input devices to the memory or from memory to input devices means there are plenty of situations where the data transfer can take place within the system according to the requirement so this is all about the instruction moving instruction now third type of instruction you may say that they are the program control instruction basically these are uh, used by the control unit which is a very very important part of your cpu and they also used for generating the control signals and the checking the status intermediate status and the final status conditions within the system and now finally if i say the input output instruction input output instructions where the input and output devices are involved in a instruction so we can say that those kind of instructions are all called input and output instruction now moving further this diagram this particular diagram is showing you the basic computer instruction format so as the diagram is clearly showing that there are three different computer instruction format first is memory reference instruction second is register reference instruction and third is input output instruction so as we are discussing the computer instruction formats so basically there are three memory reference instruction register reference instruction and input output instruction now let us try to understand the each computer instruction formats in detail so first one is the memory reference instruction basically every computer instruction format within the system is represented by the use of 16 bits ranging from 0 to 15 so from 12 to 14 12 13 and 14 these three bits they makes the op code part just what just we understood in the previous slide that op code is a operation code means what operation you have to perform whether you want to perform addition subtraction complement shift means any operation code so it is represented by the help of the 12 13 and 14th bit inside the format 
and when this opcode is from 000 to 110 i am again repeating when it is from 000 to 110 the value of the opcode then it is a memory reference instruction and also when the 16th which is the last bit bit number 15 bit number 15 or the 16th position when this this is i represented with the help of the i when this i is zero it is a direct address and when it is i equal to 1 it is a indirect address means it decides the type of the addressing mode so for i equal to 0 it is a direct addressing mode and for i equal to 1 it is a indirect addressing mode and dear friend the remaining 12 bits uh, ranging from 0 to 11 ranging from 0 to 11 they do represent the addresses or you can say the operands they represent in the memory reference instruction and now moving down register reference instruction in register reference instruction if the value of the opcode as i told you in the discussion of the memory reference instruction that opcode is represented with the help of 12 13 and 14 bit if at the same bit position from 12 13 14 14, if the value is now triple one rather than from this value this is value is valid triple zero through 110 for memory reference if the value of the operation code field is 111 then it is a register reference instruction or it is a input output instruction means the opcode value triple one is the same for register reference instruction and also for the input output instruction but the differentiating factor is the value at the bit number 15 which is 16th position if the value at the bit 15 is 0 being opcode triple one then it is a register reference instruction and if the value at the bit number 15 is 1 being triple one at the opcode so it is a input output instruction means the differentiating factor between the register reference instruction and input output instruction is the bit number 15 if it is 0 then it is a register reference and if it is 1 then it is a input output instruction now one very important point here has to be analyzed here that for the register reference instruction or for the input output instruction the bit number 0 to 11 bit number 0 to 11 in both the cases in input output as well as in register reference instructions they are not used for the address because register reference instruction they also they, they are used for the so these bit position 0 to 11 here and 0 to 11 here these 12 bits they are used for the type of operation in fact they work like a opcode rather than as operand as the case with the memory reference instruction because in register reference and input output reference they do not involve the memory address or memory locations so at the very first it seems to be that when the opcode is represented with the value trip uh, 3 bits 12 13 and 14 so it seems to be that 3 bit 3 bit means 2 ki power 3 if i take 3 bits let us say it is 3 bit and if i say the 2 ki power 3 uh, so it makes it total it makes it total 8 so it seems to be at the very first step that there are only eight different operations which can be performed inside the system but not it is not the case as you can see in the register reference and input output instruction that 0 to 11 these 12 bits are also used for the opcode purpose so the number of different operations or the number of codes opcode they are much much larger than the eight as it seems to be the case with the memory reference instruction so dear friends this is all about the basic computer instruction formats so now we move on to the next slide this slide is showing the basic computer instruction so basically at the one column these are the symbol which are used to 
represent a particular computer instruction and the intermediate it is showing the equivalent hexadecimal value as we saw in the previous slide that any computer instruction format it does have the 16 bits values so 16 bit value when they are converted into hexadecimal so they are converted into four hexadecimal values so this is representing the hexadecimal values for each and every computer instruction so let us say start with the first is the logical end the so logical end so these are the uh, you can say the hexadecimal code and what it does it logical end memory word to the accumulator similarly the add similarly the load operation similarly st stand for uh, store operation and then if we go down then clear then complement then halt and then finally it is input output and then interrupt off interrupt on it means these are the operations basic computer instructions with their hexadecimal code and the description now one point here i want to emphasize that for the uh, you can say the first first category it it is the uh, for the memory reference instruction uh, as per the a discussion in the previous slide this, this first category is for the memory reference instruction and this is for the register reference instruction and this is for the input output reference instructions this is for memory reference this is for register and this is for input output so you can see here the hexadecimal code is from 0 xxx to exx so here 7 it is not there and f is not there the reason is that the op code it only goes from 001 000 to 110 as we saw in case of the memory reference instruction and now the rest of the values they are as per the convention here so these are the this is the reference list what i used for preparing the contents of this particular lecture and finally thank you